Hello and welcome to No Fly Zone. Today we will be talking about the effects of COVID-19 on aviation. We are going to talk about the effects on aviation now and in the future after COVID-19. Firstly, the demand for air travel and airplanes has greatly reduced as many people are avoiding all travel due to the fear of catching the virus. This has caused many airlines to incur losses and go bankrupt as they are unable to fly to destinations across the world. An example of this is Flybe Airlines, which went into administration in March. It was already on the verge of collapsing in 2019 and the pandemic added salt to Flybe's wounds, leading to its collapse. Another example of this is Virgin Australia which went into voluntary administration in late April. This was due to huge losses after the airline cut off almost all of its route network and continued to pay for its leased planes, bank loans and staff. As the COVID-19 pandemic evolves and intensifies around the world, we will see more and more airlines falling after being unable to pay their staff and keep their airlines running. To keep their businesses afloat, many airlines have retrofitted their planes to transport cargo instead of passengers. Airlines across the world have been adopting this as passenger demand decreases and demand for essential cargo to be transported increases. Although this way may not bring large amounts of profits to airlines, it allows them to have a small source of income to make sure they can keep their airline running and will be able to bounce back from this economic downturn. Due to lack of demand, thousands of planes have been parked on runways and taxiways in airports across the globe. Airplanes are meant to be in the skies, so being on the ground affects them greatly as they have to be regularly checked and maintained to make sure that they don't get damaged. Airlines have to pay to keep their planes on the ground in hangars and open storage spaces, so this is worsening their condition. Furthermore, as the COVID-19 situation eases, airlines will have to pay high amounts of money to get checks on engines, hydraulics, landing gears, and etc. to ensure that the airplanes are airworthy after being on the ground for months. This will take a very long time for airlines and their airplanes will only come back into service after many weeks. Many airlines have also brought forward their older airplanes retirement dates so that they are not burdened by them. Airlines like Delta have retired their 18 Boeing 777s to cut costs amid the pandemic. American Airlines Group has also brought forward the retirement date for 100 of its aircraft, which include the Airbus A330-300, Boeing 757-200, Boeing 767-300ER, Embraer E190, and Bombardier CRJ-200. They have said that they will be renewing their fleet with more modern and efficient planes like the A321neo, 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner when they are delivered. Aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus have also scaled back on their production of planes due to lack of demand for them from airlines and due to COVID-19 affecting their workers. Airbus has cut down its production by more than 30% and Boeing has cut off almost all of its production with more than 100 people in its 16,000 person workforce testing positive for COVID-19. When COVID-19 finally ends, many airlines may have completely ceased operations due to the high losses. Demand will remain low with high fares and airlines will have to follow tight regulations from different countries enforce safe distancing measures and take good care of their passengers by, for example, taking the temperatures and giving out masks and sanitizers. Air travel will only flourish again after a vaccine for this disease is found and administered around the world. Until then, aviation situation looks bleak. Thank you for watching this video on the effects of COVID-19 on aviation. Like, share and subscribe if you liked the video. Take care and see you next time.